Reusslands look very comfortable coming in. Uh, interesting to see, Echo hasn't really been flustered by the fact that her teammate and the world number one is right on her heels. Now, Roisland has been on the top step of the podium at every venue that the Tour has visited this year, except for Antolz. And uh, it's that five out of five that has done it for a time and time again. Great prone shooting. Chevalier Boucher, 20 out of 20 today, and she will be knocking on the door of the podium. There are your top four. Roisland, Ekhoff, Chevalier Boucher of France and Fialkova. Now... Not what she wants, but it's what the spectators want in the sense that it makes a little bit of a race of it. So Ekhoff has an opportunity, and that information will have made its way into her mind. She's now got to put it to the back of her mind and just go through the process. Hauser trying to make a comeback, having started two. Four out of four for Hauser so far. The fifth toe, it goes wide. 40 seconds between the top three, and uh, Roysland now burying herself in the shadows on the left hand side of the track as she comes down to the range for the final time. 17 seconds over Ekhoff to play with, uh, but Ekhoff now has closed that gap to 14. There is another miss, so Ekhoff once again finds herself in the same position. Another miss, and Roysland could be in trouble. She gets it down. It's not an easy task for Ekhoff. Remember, she's only hit 71% in the stand so far this year, but she did uh, manage to clear the last five in the mass start in Otterpa. That's what she needs in her mind. She makes it five. She makes it five. It's all change at the lead. What about Chevalier Boucher? Another miss, unfortunately, from Chevalier Boucher. So she can do it, and she is doing it. One more to go. Fialkova clears, and we have a race for first and second. We have a race for second and third to win a race in front of your home crowd. Roisland has never done it. Uh, not here in the Holman Collins Stadium, so she'll be really, really disappointed with that last shoot of hers. But she is back on the podium for the second day in succession. It's Ekhoff who wins her second race in succession. Another 60 points on the World Cup. Roisland, she's won the overall World Cup. It has been an absolutely sensational season for Roisland. Fialkova goes from uh, seventh position, eighth position up into third. Chevalier Boucher all went wrong on that final shoot. First place and the winner representing Norway, Norge.